Shin Godzilla is a Japanese film that came out in 2016 and for some reason I am watching it now for the first time. Japan is plunged into chaos upon the appearance of a giant monster. If you watched Dom and I's video last week of Godzilla vs. Kong, you may remember when Dom brought up a movie called Shin Godzilla. He highly recommended it and said it was a lot different than Godzilla vs. Kong and it was probably his favorite Godzilla movie. And you should listen to the man because Shin Godzilla is probably my favorite Godzilla movie. But I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't seen that many Godzilla movies. I haven't even seen the original. I've only seen the new ones, I've seen clips of the old ones, and then now I've seen Shin Godzilla. But Shin Godzilla is a great mix of political dialogue, destruction, chaos, horror, exciting sequences, intense exchanges of dialogue. It's all of that. I'm going to keep this review spoiler free because a lot of people I feel like haven't seen Shin Godzilla. Dom is probably the only person I know that has seen this film. And I want more people to watch this film because it is really good. But I will warn you, don't go into Shin Godzilla thinking you're going to see a film like Godzilla 2014 or King of the Monsters or Godzilla vs. Kong. This is honestly almost the complete opposite of that. This is a dialogue heavy movie. This feels like the most grounded and realistic take of Godzilla that we've ever seen. This is a film about if Godzilla actually appeared at a giant city, what would nations do? What would the government do? What would the plan of action be to deal with this giant beast? And there's some great political dialogue throughout this movie. It is fascinating. It is crazy to see how countries and nations and governments deal with disaster, what has to get reproved, what has to go through for something to happen? What would the plan of action be? It is all fascinating. And I was happily surprised by the shock value of this film. There are some shocking moments in this film. There are some horrific moments in this film. I was not expecting that at all in a Godzilla movie. This movie is like a horror film because it feels so real and grounded. And like I said, there's some shocking shit that happens in this film. I mean, Godzilla looks terrifying. This is hands down the most frightening version of Godzilla I have ever seen. And I don't want to talk about Godzilla too much because there would be spoilers in there. But I will say, Godzilla is fucking frightening in this movie. You've heard me before say my biggest issues with the other Godzilla movies is they focus on the human characters too much. And I guess I'm a hypocrite now because this film mainly focuses on the human characters. But... They do it in a different way. I would say the main character of this film is more of the situation that's going on. And then we have these human characters in there. But the difference here is these human characters, I feel like they have real weight to what's going on. They make real decisions that have real consequences and real impact. The other Godzilla films, these human characters, yes, they do things that eventually impact the overall situation, but it feels out of this world and completely childish, like pouring whiskey on a dashboard to stop Mechagodzilla. Here, it feels like the human characters are very important to the plot. When something happens to some of these human characters in this film, there's a point where you really don't know what they're gonna do next. And they're kind of fucked. While in the other Godzilla movies, when the human characters died, I'd be like, well, this doesn't really change much. The last compliment I want to give this film is I'm extremely impressed by the directing in this film, considering this is a giant Godzilla movie and their budget was only 15 million. Yes, there are parts in this film where the special effects don't look completely right, but I can give it a pass because their budget was only 15 million. And there are some giant sequences in this movie of mass destruction and things of that nature that I'm surprised they pulled something like this off with a budget of only 15 million. I also noticed with the audio when Godzilla roars or if there's explosions or anything like that, they use audio from the original 1950s version, or I'm assuming that's what it's from. And I don't know, I enjoyed it. It gave the film a unique, fresh feeling. You probably knew this was coming, but Shin Godzilla isn't perfect in my eyes. I have a few minor issues with the film. First, I will say that the editing in it is somewhat weird. I think for the most part they do a good job with the editing because it is pretty fast paced throughout the movie even though the movie is pretty dialogue heavy. But there are parts where a character will give a big chunk of information and I feel like the scene needs to resonate a little bit so the audience understands what's going on and kind of process what just happened. But then it will cut really fast to the next scene giving us more information. Maybe it's a style of editing they're doing to show that this situation is just always fast paced. There's so much information going on that 
sometimes you just need to catch up with a situation this big. But I don't know. There were times where a character would say something, I'm like, wait, what? And then it would cut right away. And I couldn't process what was just happening in the scene before. Now I'll say after the first act of this film, it starts to drag a little bit. Like the first act of the film starts off very fast paced and a lot's going on. And then something happens and then there's like a 20 minute gap or so where things are happening but nothing too exciting or interesting. In the end though, I highly recommend Shin Godzilla. This is probably my favorite Godzilla movie to date. It's a lot different than what we normally see. It's very dialogue heavy. It's the complete opposite of Godzilla versus Kong, let me tell you. It's a very grounded version of what would actually happen if Godzilla existed and what nations and governments would do. Like I said before, it's very political very dialogue heavy but it is very interesting and that is extremely hard to pull off the movie was shocking there are some frightening parts and i have to give the director some credit because pulling off this big scale movie with only 15 million dollars is extremely impressive i have a few minor issues with the editing choices and things that happened right after the first act of this film but they're minor and i will say the final shot of this film no spoilers of course but the final shot of this film after seeing it and then doing a little bit of research, it is spine chilling. I'll give Shin Godzilla 8.5 Davy Daves. If you don't mind subtitles, definitely rent it. I only could rent it on Amazon Prime. I couldn't find it anywhere else. If you don't mind subtitles, definitely rent it. It is worth it. There is a dub version, but I don't know if it's good or not. But like I said, definitely rent it. It is an interesting and thrilling Godzilla movie. So, Shin Godzilla, let me know what you guys thought if you've seen it. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Click here to see more Davey Dave's takes.